Hello everyone. In this video, we will be going through Rabindranath Tagore's poem, Light, Oh Where is the Light? Let us first know about the author. Rabindranath Tagore was a poet, author, playwright, composer, philosopher, social reformer, and painter, who lived from 7th May 1861 to 7th August 1941. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, he used contextual modernism to transform Indian art, Bengali literature, and music. He was the first non-European and the first lyricist to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913, and he is credited with writing the profoundly sensitive, fresh, and beautiful poetry of Gitanjali. Tagore's beautiful prose and mystical poetry are largely unknown outside of Bengal, despite the fact that his poetic songs were considered to be spiritual and mercurial. He was a Royal Asiatic Society Fellow. Tagore was referred as the Bard of Bengal and went by the nicknames Gurudev, Kobi Guru, and Biswakobi. His compositions were chosen by two nations as national anthems, India and Bangladesh. All right, moving on to the poem. Gitanjali, the collection of poems that won Rabindranath Tagore the Nobel Prize, contains the line, Light, O oh Where is the Light, as verse 27. The desire for the holy light is the subject of this poem by Tagore. Gitanjali, or song offerings, are created whenever a soul searches for even the tiniest glimmer of spirituality. It is a method of looking for the invisible as well as the name of a poet's masterwork. Tagore initially presents himself as a wanderer on the road to spiritual awakening in this heartfelt verse. Then he understands that the most effective method for imagining the divine aura is to light the lamp of love with his own life. Let's recite the poem then we will discuss the line by line summary. Light, oh where is the light? Kindle it with the burning fire of desire. The opening line of the Gore's poem, Light, O oh, where is the light makes reference to the poet's poetic persona, who is seeking the holy light. His tired eyes are in desperate need of a glimpse of the light that will aid in his spiritual awakening. There is the lamp but never a flicker of a flame, is such thy fate, my heart. Bah, death were better by far for thee. His tired eyes are in desperate need of a glimpse of the light that will aid in his spiritual awakening. He can picture the lamp, not the light flickering. His heart tells him that death is far preferable to aimless wandering at this point. Misery knocks at thy door, and her message is that thy Lord is wakeful and he calls thee to the love tryst through the darkness of night. The sky is overcast with clouds and the rain is ceaseless. His mind's door is knocked by misery, who informs him that the Lord is constantly awake. In the pitch black, he is watching for him. I know not what this is that stirs in me. I know not its meaning. A moment's flash of lightning drags down a deeper gloom on my sight, and my heart gropes for the path to where the music of the night calls me. He searches for the way to locate the source of the midnight music, regardless of whether his sky is clouded with black clouds or it is raining. Light, oh where is the light? Kindle it with the burning fire of desire. He again calls the holy light and asks it to kindle the darkness. He again seems in a desperate need of a glimpse of the light that will aid in his spiritual awakening. It thunders and the wind rushes screaming through the void. The night is black as a black stone. 
Let not the hours pass by in the dark. Kindle the lamp of love with thy life. He finally comes to a realization. He asks the light to kindle the lamp of love with life. According to him, it is better to kindle the lamp of love than letting the dull hours pass by since the night is dark as a black stone. Thank you everyone. I hope you all liked the explanation. See you all in the next video.